Hey guys, I'm back with another video. We got our solar power station. In the last video, I kind of did a little overview of uh, what we got going on here. In this video, we're gonna upgrade and add some more batteries. So I've already got the original eight batteries removed. I have eight more here. So I think my plan is I'm gonna take two of these and we're gonna make two more parallel strings. So we're gonna go another one here, another one here, connect them with bus bars and that'll be one cell. Cause right now, this is one cell, two P. So we're gonna do it one cell, four P, and then stack them back up, re maybe have to remake these. Um, probably make a couple more bus bars. These are just flattened copper pipe. I got some more copper pipe right here. So I'm gonna go in the garage and flatten this, drill some holes, make a couple more bus bars, and that's it. So we're gonna add two more, tape them together, add bus bars, you know, triple check voltages, make sure the voltages are all the same. I got the BMS wiring over there, I've labeled it, that way I know what cell goes where, and that's it, all we gotta do is just put these on there, verify the voltage, hook them all up in parallel, series them back up on here, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and, once I kinda get the cells mounted and the bus wires made, I'll show you guys uh, as I go. All right, so I got all the cells hot glued together just to kind of hold them temporarily. And then I'm gonna take the two parallel cells. These are gonna positive are on one side, negative the other. We're gonna lay on top of the existing ones in the same configuration. So we're gonna have four negative posts and then we're gonna make some bus bars to connect these and that's gonna be a one cell group. So this is one that's already taped together but no bus bars. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Once those are all kind of in place, we're gonna get them mounted and make sure they're secured. Then we're gonna go make some more bus bars and get it wired up and it should be good to go. So I will keep you guys posted as I make progress. Now we're in the garage, we've got our copper pipe. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it down the length and start making our bus bars. Let's make sure I get a good camera angle. It's nothing too fun to watch, but I guess I'll show you guys what's going on. Get my marker. So these bus bars are what connect this, the original cells I had, and this is where the terminal goes. But what I'm gonna do is make one half the size for the second set of cells, and then another one to bridge it to the first set, and then it'll go to this one. So it'll make more sense once I get them built. But first things first, we'll go ahead and get this cut. Take my Sawzall. Okay. All right, so we got our copper pipe. Now we just hammer. And then you just. That's really loud. 
loud. Okay. And we're what? Vice, but it's kind of a, in a weird spot. Let's see if we can use it. As you can see, I'm not really uh, figuring out a good process to quite do this yet. And that's it, nice and uh, nice and flat. So. Pretty much as flat as you can get it. All right, cool. So now we got a flat piece of copper. Then I'm gonna line up the, the holes from this because I know they're the right size. And then you kind of just wanna, center punch would be best, but I kind of just eyeball it. Put it right in the middle. Bam, now we're gonna go to the drill press. We're gonna drill the hole. bus bars done and made this part took literally two hours of drilling and not getting it the right size and having to go back and drill again so the only next thing we got to do is just parallel the two groups up and then series connect them all up and then we can put it back in service but so far I'm very happy with it it's coming out really well everything looks really clean so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the connections made sand it back up and we'll get her all hooked up and back in service Alright guys, all finished up, got all the cells wired up, series paralleled up, all good to go. So now with this battery, plus this battery, we have 370 amp hours times 13.2. It's 4,800 and some change watt hours. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to let it charge up probably for the rest of the day. It's a little past 5, so we don't have full sun anymore, but there's what the cells are looking at. So I'm going to let that charge all the way up. Then we got to reset this smart shunt, because right now it's showing almost 100, but because there was no power to it, it reset. So once this thing gets fully charged, we're going to reset it on the smart shunt and put the new capacity in as well. And that's about it. So pretty happy with the setup. Uh, I mean, it runs the AC just fine. So now we can be able to run everything longer. Um, definitely always good to put more batteries. I think my next weakest link is going to be the charge controller and then the inverter. So maybe next video, when I get some money together, we're going to order a new charge controller because this is becoming a bottleneck in the system. And then we need also put better wiring because these 10 gauge wires are getting pretty warm. But... That's going to be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.